recognized music and rock stars in Rumble, the Indians who rocked the world. The filmmakers treat us to archival and concert footage, and the story is told by the iconic music legends who knew and played with the musicians that inspired them. In 1958, Link Ray made history with his revolutionary power chord feedback style guitar classic, which was banned from the radio for fear it would incite violence. I think Link Ray purely loved rock and roll and felt pissed off and annoyed and disappointed that in some ways, because he was Shawnee, half Shawnee, and his family had been treated so badly, he took that bitterness and created it into something that was not reductive but proactive. a song came on the radio, a guitar instrumental, and it changed everything. Link Ray, it's rock and roll. Rumble. Yeah, that's the one. Rumble. Hey, Rumble. Rumble had the power to help me say, I'm going to be a musician. And then I found out that he was an Indian. music that we know here in the United States is fully supported by input from Native and Indigenous people. Mr. Randy Casillo! Randy had become one of the most influential heavy metal drummers in the world. This is Jesse Ed Davis. I particularly fell in love with Jesse Evan Davis. He was with Taj Mahal, and Taj's album is what spurred me to rock more. The filmmaker, Catherine Bainbridge, says the music is loved because it comes from the heart. The violence and oppression, of course, against people of color, though, was like off the hook. And out of that violence comes this beautiful music. Comes the, Because music is like a healing bomb, right? When everyone says the blues, blues isn't sad. It speaks about what's going on so people can feel healed, so people can feel they can handle what they're having to endure. The film deconstructs America's violent history and the origin of American music, blues, jazz, rock, and folk. It traces the influence of Native American Indian culture as it blended with African American and follows the evolution of the music. You can hear the spirit of some of the old music before plantations and slavery and so forth and colonization. People are really shocked when they hear the traditional music of the South, East. They're like, that's Indian music? I thought that was African music. The film reveals how American music has so much power. As Indians and slaves mingled, the music that emerged was a result of the blending of America's violent and rich cultural history. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.